Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Critics Cut. My name is Jacob, and today we're looking at the brand new for Love of Thunder, um, the Goat Boat set from Lego. Retails for £45 in the UK, and comes with five minifigures. As you can see there, you've got um, artwork, which looks like concept art from the film, with Jane Foster 4, um, Mighty 4, sorry, and you've got Chris Hemsworth's regular 4 there. Uh, comes with um, two brick built characters as well as a bonus. So you've got, um, I forget which way around it is, but you've got Tooth Nasher and Tooth Grinder, I believe the names are. Uh, yeah, uh, it's got the Infinity Saga box art, which they started last year, which is really cool to see. You can see all the different characters that are included. Taking a look at the top of the box, I love the. I love the artwork they use for this. And taking a look at the back of the box, you've got the minifig versions of the figures and shows you some of the play features. So you can open up the roof to get access to the interior. You can remove the goats and have them running about separately. So here is the build all built up. As you can see, I've got all five minifigures um, posed on the, um, the ship. Uh, you can see here the goats. We'll take a closer look at them. As you can see here, you've got the two goats, Tooth Nasher and Tooth Grinder. I'll take a closer look at them in a second. You can see how they're connected from this Technic beam piece. Taking a look at the front, you've got the mast head with um, what looks to be a serpent of some kind or a dragon. Um, really cool build, how they've made the shape of that. I like how that came out. On the front here, you can kind of see poking out. This is kind of a feature they show you in the back of the instructions, but you've got Stormbreaker attached there. So like from the trailer, he uses this to activate the um, Bifrost. And so when he's traveling from planet to planet, he can use the Bifrost there with that attached. And uh, you've got a sticker here, as well as tours. Uh, all the stickers are repeated on both sides, just so you know. So you've got four more stickers here for the shield. So there's eight of those shields in total that you have to put stickers on, which is a real pain. Um, as you can see, the deck has a lot of studs. So it's got plenty of space to pose a ton of minifigures on here, really. You've even got like two extra studs up here, so you can have someone on the um, top of the front of the ship. Uh, taking a look at the top of the roof, you can see here they use a mixture of studs and tiles, which I really love, gives it a nice finish, and you can pose some figures on there to battle. Uh, you can see how that's connected there. Um, well, I've got it here. And on the underside, you've got some tiled studs, so it gives it like it looks like it's floating across space. Look, I like that, and it also allows it to run a little bit smoother, but it's still a little bit tough with all these exposed plates. Go around the back. You've got uh, two clips here, so you can put the extra minifig accessory. Taking a look on the other side and on the back, you can see how that's built up. They're using the Ninjago snake hair pieces in grey. You've got another sticker on the back. So yeah, that's how that looks. Looking at the interior, you can see there you've got a small fire extinguisher and an extra weapon. I'm not sure if that's for Korg. We'll have to wait until the film comes out. I'm flipping it around, the new Asgard sticker with the map of the town. And you got the little piece they use in Lego Dots, and they got a green bottle. So here's the brick built creatures included in the set. So you've got only the two goats that you see in front of you. These are the only um, other side characters. So technically, in total, you get seven characters in the set, which is really cool. So yeah, you've got the white goat here. I think this is Tooth Nasher, and this one's Tooth Grinder, the brown one. Uh, so I like how they did the ears so with the um, tooth pieces. At different angles, he's got a printed slope for his face with his tongue sticking out, which is quite funny. And you've got a sticker on the back for showing his fur. Uh, I don't like how they did the legs, it's um, on a bar connection, and it's a pain to get like aligned properly. As you can see, their mind's a bit out of alignment. And you can also uh, take his head off, <laughs> but um, yeah, you can kind of move the head from side to side, but it does break a bit too easily. You can move the head up and down. Can move the legs individually the hooves um, do swivel in and out if you would like to i don't know why you do that and as you see there you've got like the technic cross hole there for the connection to the boat they use uh, another printed piece on the front here and slope which is a more serious expression so i guess he's the more serious guy the pair can't wait to see the film how these guys play out i've uh, got another sticker across the top for the fur and yeah it's pr completely identical just a color swap and um some de small minor details like the horns and stuff are different. But yeah, these are really cool. I'm really glad Lego made these. And yeah, that's going to do it for the creatures included in this set. And there isn't any other four sets that I can recollect. So um, yeah, uh, for 45 quid, I'll get this on sale. Yeah, you'll get most of the main characters anyway. So here is four in his, um, I'm assuming, final look for four Love and Thunder. 
the detail on this is insane, the intricacy of the detail. And I believe this is the first time any four minifigure Lego I've ever made comes with leg printing. I do like the new uh, the Qui-Gon Jim hair piece they use for him in tan. I'm not sure if we've ever gotten that in that colour before, but it suits for so much better than the piece they've been using for many years now. Comes with um a one peg hole connection for the cape, which is the junior style cape. I don't know how I feel about that, but with the hair piece it does lock it down a bit better. Same face print they've been using for quite a few years now with the lightning eyes. Taking a look at the back torso printing, you can see there. It's um, still got a bit of a shine. He does come with his trusted Stormbreaker, which they've changed the design of. They've changed this piece on the back and they've ch changed the handle connection as well for him. So yeah, I do like this new build for Stormbreaker. It's a little bit more accurate and you can also recreate the scene from the trailer where he um, plants it in the ground. So here we have Mighty Four, um, aka Jane Foster, which is no longer a spoiler because that her identity was filled quite a few years ago in the comics and um, keeping it no secret in the advertisements. It does come with Molnia, which is probably the biggest letdown for me personally of this set. It should have come with printing for the cracks because it's reassembled for Jane, as shown in the trailer itself as well. Never actually done anything special for Force Hammer, not even giving him the little logo, not even changed the handle to the correct colour of brown, which is a real shame. I wish it's just some cracks on it or something like that just to make it more accurate but she does come with leg printing which is really nice she comes with a new molded helmet and hair piece which you can see there uh, she seems to have gone blonde um natalie portman for the role uh yeah really cool minifigure it does use the gina herself face i wish they made a new face where she has lightning eyes like four does just so it's, i don't know there's just some things that aren't perfect she's got an angry expression there Back to also printing is not here. We have Kin Valkyrie. Um, so she's going to be a big part of the new film. She's looking for her queen. She's got some fantastic leg printing as well. And uh, this is a new hair piece from what people have been saying online, which looks fantastic for her. Uh, she comes with a blue cape again. And so you can see her facial expression there. She's got some back torso printing. But in here is Korg, who for some reason everyone keeps telling me I sound like in the comments. Uh, yeah, so it looks very accurate to her trailer. You, the dark red and blue pants up um, quite nicely there. It comes with a fur coat piece, which they use for Craven Hunter. Uh, he's got also the goat logo for his belt buckle. And he's got a brick built weapon, which looks kind of similar to the full Ragnarok version. And yeah, uh, they introduced a new head molded piece for him a couple years, uh, last year, sorry, for the Bro Force. And with the fur coat removed, you could get a better look at the back torso printing and anything that was covered up. He does also come with a double front sided face. As you can see, they are two different minifigures. And this is exclusive to that blister pack, which you can only get from Lego directly. And the final minifigure included in this set, which is probably the most disappointing, to be honest. For, considering he is the main villain, he's played by Christian Bell, um, who you may know as uh, the Dark Knight Batman from Dark Knight Trilogy. Comes with a black sword, which is a necro sword. In the comics, it's meant to be a Venom symbiote. Um, so I, we'll have to wait and see if they include that in the film, but I've got a sneaky suspicion that they are not going to do that. Comes from... Um, back head also, um, head and torso printing, which is nice to see. Would have liked a um, hooded piece or some leg printing, would have been really nice for him. But I guess four out of five minifigures aren't bad to have leg printing. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the review of the brand new Four Love and Thunder set, the only one Lego seem to be releasing this year, which is a shame. Hopefully, we get some more sets later in the year. But I feel like this gives you a good chunk of the main characters. I love this set, it's £45, it's a little bit pricey. I would like to see it around. 40 pound maybe but just the size of the deck i feel like it's pretty worth the price i mean as i as you can see it just barely fits into frame and that's not even including the goats on the front so yeah i think this set is definitely worth people picking up and and lego videos in general so yeah i'll talk to you again in the next one bye for now i forgot um, the hammer at the back um but yeah i'll uh, see you guys later what's that fin heck is this fin I've never seen this before in my life. What in the world?